Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and this other person and what are you thinking or feeling about each other. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Capricorn 100%. So keep that in mind as you watch the reading. All right, let's jump right in for Capricorn spirits. Messages, guidance, please, for Capricorn. What's going on in this connection between Capricorn and the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What's going on in this connection? Six of Wands, reverse. Two of Swords, reverse. What else what do need to know? So what's going on in this connection? Four of Wands, okay. <laughs> What can you tell me about Capricorn's energy when it comes to this connection? What can you tell me about Capricorn's energy? The Knight of Pentacles. What can you tell me about Capricorn's energy? Queen of Wands reverse. What can you tell me about the person Capricorn is dealing with? What about their energies? What do we need to know about their energies? Death, Scorpio energy. What do we need to know about their energies? Two of Cups, reverse. Eight of Cups. Okay. There's really only one way to interpret those three together. This person is walking away from a connection be a connection with you or a connection with someone else but that's where their headspace is at now when it comes to your connection there is an uh, delayed success or just it's unsuccessful at this time um, the two of swords reverse is a, a card about making a difficult decision and the four of wands is all about the home Harmony in the home, a rite of passage, celebrating something that's momentous. So we'll have to see what that's all about. But first, let me get some energies about this connection. Spirit, tell me about Capricorn's connection with this person. What do we need to know about the energies in this connection? What do we need to know about the energies in this connection? I actually want to cut the deck. We need to know about the energies. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fun. Reach out, falling leaves. I don't know why I wanted to do it like this, but I do. Mysterious and deep regret. Okay, what's at the bottom? I'm just curious judgment call so you could be dealing with a fire sign here Aries Leo Sagittarius but this card can also indicate the qualities of a fire sign uh, someone passionate creative uh, a go-getter impulsive someone extroverted outgoing we have deep regret we have mysterious falling leaves time changes everything and reaching out Now you have the Queen of Wands reverse. So typically the Queen of Wands reverse is someone that isn't very bold, doesn't really think about the consequences of their actions, doesn't take action. This could be somebody with a temper. So I'm trying to figure out if you're viewing someone else like this or if these are the characteristics that you're exhibiting right now so let's clarify these energies and see what we get for you I get some clarity please for Capricorn get some clarity some of you are definitely dealing with like a Scorpio or someone that has Scorpio in their chart because that cat is making me think especially the mysterious enigmatic and mystifying uh, keywords there 
I think someone is hiding their regrets or hasn't communicated their regrets. So let's let's clarify. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Six of Cups. Why is the Two of Swords reverse? Why is the Two of Swords? Two of Swords reverse. Page of Cups. Yeah, it's almost like someone has decided to express themselves or bring you a cup or vice versa. Take it as it resonates, but that's what I'm seeing. What's this Four of Wands about? Why is the Four of Wands here? Three of Cups. Two of Cups. Okay. I don't know if there's someone else. I don't want to jump into that um, interpretation because I don't see it anywhere in the cards yet other than this Three of Cups with the Four of Wands. So I instantly think of too many cooks in the kitchen. And then the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fort Fortune behind that. So maybe there's a soulmate or a divinely guided partner here. And then we have the chariot behind that. So it's almost like this is coming in, perhaps. Let's get one more. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? The lovers. Oh, yeah, this is definitely like a soulmate, but it hasn't been successful. Gemini energy. This connection, even though it's a soulmate, it has not been successful or it's delayed in its success. Tell me more about the Two of Swords reverse. Tell me more about the Two of Swords reverse. Tell me more about this Two of Swords reverse. The High Priestess and Three of Swords. Interesting. Remember when I said that someone hasn't expressed their regret? I think that's what this is. Someone coming, coming in to talk to you. The Chariot, the Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Cancer energy with the chariot. Almost like I apologize for the hurt that I've caused, or you know, I've been hiding my pain or whatever. Let's see, what else can we get with this Four of Wands? Why is the Four of Wands here? Four of Wands, okay. Can I get one more for the Four of Wands? What's this Four of Wands about? What's going on here with this Four of Wands? Page of Swords, Eight of Eight of Pentacles at the bottom. Interesting. Six of Pentacles. Well, the Page of Swords, Page of Cups, this is like messages, communication. The Page of Swords is the investigator. They observe, they're intelligent, they care about the truth. Not the best communicators, but, you know. Um, I feel like you and this person have something serious to discuss and it hasn't happened yet. I think that someone's almost like maybe working up the courage to tell you the truth about something or to open up about something that they haven't expressed before because I have the High Priestess here. And this was a hard decision to make for them. Also with Falling Leaves here, I almost get the sense that time has already passed in this connection and now someone's reaching out because I have reach out falling leaves and then mysterious almost like someone's reaching out and the other person doesn't really understand why or there's a mysterious element as to why they're reaching out that's kind of how I'm interpreting that so let's get some more insight into your con uh, your feelings towards each other what's going on between you and this person Tell me more about Capricorn and this other person. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Capricorn and this other person? Tell me about Capricorn's energy. Tell me 
definitely about Capricorn's energy. Main female. Can I get one more for Capricorn? Can I get one more? message yeah someone's definitely sending you a message tell me about the person that kept hold on I wanted to move these over here great fortune tell me about the person that Capricorn is has or will be dealing with what we need to know about their energies thoughts this person is wondering how things are going to happen they're thinking about success hoping for success here they're thinking about this person this person is thinking about you but i'm confused by their energies down here because this is someone that's definitely walking away from something ending something and it looks like it's a connection maybe they already walked away from you in the past Okay, tell me about the Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn here. Now, Capricorn, I have you on this side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. What do we need to know about the Knight of Pentacles? What do we need to know about the Knight of Pentacles? Eight of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? Why is the Queen of Wands here reversed? What do we need to know? Huh. I think this is a third party situation. I think this person left you for someone else. Yep. And I think they want to come back and make you another offer. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Yep, Ace of Wands. And Four of Cups. Yeah, they're going to make you an offer. And they think you might refuse them. Or there's a potential that you're not interested. Because they already walked away from you before. Or they chose someone else over you. That's why the Two of Swords is reverse, And there's deep regret here. They regret their choice because you were their, their soulmate, I feel. The Moon, Pisces energy. So let me get some insight on all of these together because I think these are all connected. Tell me about Death, the Two of Cups reverse, and the Eight of Cups. Tell me about death, the two of cups reverse, and the eight of cups. Tell me about death, the two of cups reverse, and the eight of cups. Tell me about death, the two of cups reverse, and the eight of cups. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This person, especially with the page of wands, and the three of wands. I think that this person could be either walking away from the person they left you for, a third party, or they're returning. They're gonna send you a message and wait for your response and hope that this works out, but they're terrified, I feel. They're terrified, possibly of being rejected or of you not being interested at all. At least, like, maybe you're not even interested in hearing from them. They're worried. Can you get some insight, a little bit more insight, please, between Capricorn and this other person? What else do we need to know? Tell me about Capricorn. You are my soulmate. Capricorn's person. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Tell me about Capricorn's person. 
I'm working on myself. I'm having doubts. We need to talk. Yeah. This person is like a soulmate returning to you. Or they think you're their soulmate. You probably are soulmates. And it's almost like now is the time for them to come in. And try again with you. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician. Yeah, the Moon, Two of Wands. They don't know how this is going to go. It could go either way. So in some capacity, this is kind of like the mysterious card here. It's, it's almost like they don't really know how you're going to take this message. They have no idea how you're going to respond. And I almost get the sense that, you know, they wouldn't blame you if you said no. You know? Because they they left the connection for something else or someone else or because of another person. And I think that they really upset you when that happened. But I think that your pain turned to anger pretty quickly. Tell me about the Queen of Wands reverse. Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? Yeah, because this was shocking to you, unexpected. Maybe you found out that this person was with another person. Because this person knows they've hurt you. The Three of Swords is here. And maybe they hurt you by, you know, hiding something from you. I think they're going to tell you that they've worked on themselves. They've fixed, you know, or they've learned from their mistakes. Or um, they've done a lot of thinking, a lot of analyzing and growing up, whatever. I, I feel like this is the same message that Capricorn has been getting on my channel for like months this person is still like still interested in you still wanting something with you um february's love reading was them pretty much asking you not to shut them out um january's bonus really uh reading was like something shocking something you didn't expect january's how they feel was them having a change of heart i feel this is the same person for a lot of you and I think the reason why we still see this message is because they haven't come forward yet. They're thinking about it, obsessing over it, pining over you, you know, thinking, thinking, thinking. It's like you're constantly on the back of this person's mind. And so they're dragging you into, <laughs> into this whole like drawn out thing, you know, and they just keep showing up. This person just keeps showing up. So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. I'm going to take this now to the extended because I want to see where all of this is headed in the near future. What can you expect uh, in this connection? I'm also going to look, uh, take a look at their true intentions towards you. Um, I already feel like I know what it is, but why not ask and get confirmation? So if you're interested in the extended and seeing what else you need to know about what's happening here, then check out the extent, uh, not the extension, check out the description box. <laughs> the link to the extended will be there. Uh, thank you so much for watching Capricorn. Like the video if you enjoyed the reading. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.